On Saturday, Iranian media reported that a commander from the Iranian Revolutionary Guards issued a threat to close the Mediterranean Sea in response to perceived crimes by the US and its allies in Gaza. The report did not elaborate on the specific means by which this closure would be achieved. Iran is a supporter of Hamas in its opposition to Israel, alleging that the US is backing Israeli actions in Gaza, where weeks of bombardment have led to numerous casualties and forced a significant portion of the population to flee their homes. They will be anticipating the closure of the Mediterranean Sea, the Strait of Gibraltar and additional waterways. The coordinating commander of the guards, Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Nakhti, was quoted as saying by Tasneem. In the past month, Yemen's Houthi group, aligned with Iran, has targeted merchant vessels in the Red Sea as a response to Israel's actions in Gaza. This has prompted some shipping companies to alter their routes. The White House has attributed these operations against commercial vessels to Iran's deep involvement. Although Iran lacks direct access to the Mediterranean, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard's plan to potentially close it off remains unclear. Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Nakhdi mentioned the birth of new powers of resistance and the closure of other waterways. Referring to recent events, Nagdi emphasized the challenges faced by adversaries, stating that the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Hormuz has become a nightmare and now they find themselves trapped in the Red Sea. Notably, the only Iranian-backed groups in the Mediterranean are Lebanon's Hezbollah and allied militias in Syria, situated at the far end of the sea from Gibraltar. Earlier on Saturday, Omri, a British maritime security firm, reported that a merchant vessel affiliated with Israel off India's west coast was targeted by a drone. This incident adds to a series of drone and missile attacks in the Red Sea carried out by Iran-backed Houthis. The Houthis claim to be supporting Palestinians in Gaza under siege by Israel, leading to attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. Consequently, shippers have been compelled to alter their routes, opting for longer journeys around the southern tip of Africa to avoid the heightened risks in the region. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.